Drums help represent and acknowledge all phases of life from beginning to end. When I was seven, I used to run around the house shouting or saying I wanted to be a drummer, I'm going to be a drummer. I'd pause for a second, think about it, then continue playing or whatever. I started playing when I was 18 in downtown Denver with a man by the name of Mr. Adetunji Joda. There are countless styles to start out with, but the most uh, diverse styles of drumming are in West Africa. Now, not all African cultures use drums, but they all sing and dance and clap their hands, so there's some percussion involved. <laughs> Gotta keep time, this is the timekeeper right here, rhythm of the clock. The bell is gonna play what I call the heartbeat. They are a form of communications, uh, you have to learn how to understand the drums if you're not from the village and it takes years and then well you can understand what the drums are telling you. Now, the djembe is the world's most popular hand drum. Let me introduce you to the drums. The goblet shaped drums, the shorter drums are called djembes. They were created in the kingdom of Mali, West Africa in the year 1726. They were made from the mortar of mortar and pestle. Before 1884, Mali, Senegal, the Gambia, Guinea, Sierra Leone, Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast, they were all part of the Malian Empire. If you travel to Africa today, you can experience many different ethnic groups of people, but there are more than just a djembe drum, but the djembe is the most popular and many different ethnic groups of people practice or play djembe. Now, let's talk about the taller drums, the congas. Those are Cuban drums. The original congo was created about 1850 or so uh, from a log also and originally mounted with the skin of an ox. Conga has adopted many rhythms from other cultures because in Cuba, you know, because of the slave trade, many cultures came together, many different ethnic groups came together in Africa and that also helped form new styles of music. Five, six, seven, eight. Music overall, not just drumming, though, know, it's been scientifically proven that children that study, especially that learn to read musical notes, excel in all other subjects. Hit the drums, hopefully not, start to sound like this. Please stop, it's no good. No, please, it should sound like one drum. Not only the notes, but the phonetics of drumming. So we have bass, tone, slap. Slap, tone, bass. The sounds, like instead of having someone play by the words, the term to bass, using the sounds, goom, goom, do, do, da, da, do, do. It's a language in itself. And each drum is like each one of you. You all have your own special voice, your sound. What I usually do, working with kids and adults, I just have them work on the three sounds with a little drum arrangement. I call it the drum song. And if you really listen to it closely, can you hear any familiar song in there? Minus a beat or two. Twinkle, twinkle, star. Or A, B, C, D, E. So it all relates to, you can really relate it to what kids are learning in school. And when you make contact with the drum, make sure you bounce. Trade hands every beat and bounce. Bounce. The skin is hot. You can see them playing what you just explained to them. And they get it, they get the idea, and the sounds are really clear. So you know, it's, it's a gift. You know about gifted people that can just step up and do certain things that happens with drumming too. We talk about a global community, and you know,
know, cultural awareness. Uh, it's just good to be exposed to different cultures. Tick tock, tick tock. A lot of people, you know, don't have the opportunity to travel outside of their own culture or area, so, you know, we kind of bring it to them. Mm -hmm.